what's up and today in this video we are going to be doing part four of making present mics portable speakers now of course i made the neck piece already um and i've already shown how i made the speakers but now this is the painting portion and sorry if i haven't been posting often um that's just due to scores starting up and me getting hold of how my studies are so yeah with all that going on i've been a bit busy but other than that um i've been trying my best to come up with ideas i have another video of make video coming up i am currently i will cosplay during the week as often anymore so with that whole ordeal going on it will kind of vary whenever i get skip videos out that'll be done during the weekends so maybe on occasion I could get one or two out. Now I have one in planning. I just am waiting to be able to. Do it. So enough of the rant here. <laughs> Sorry if I keep doing this every time. But yeah, um, you guys, we'll see how things go. So what you'll need first, of course, you'll need these from what we made last time. So these. I can show you properly. These are the speakers, the portable speakers. So basically, what we're going to need to be working with these, I'm going to go ahead and paint one actually. I'm going to spray all of them, but I want to paint one on video and do the rest on my own. Yeah, so we got these. I'm setting these off to the side. Next, for when we, and if you do our primer, if you have your own way of priming, great. If you're using a spray primer, Please is outside. There are a ton of fumes and toxins involved. So basically what I use is right here. Um, I use a craft foam primer. I use a light gray so I can get more color going. So this is one of the things I use. Um, yeah, please use this outside. Don't, if possible, spray on grass, if anything, or like on a piece of EVA foam that has enough surface area to hold all your items or do it in periods of time. But yeah, so be careful with this, please. Um, this has a ton of fumes. Don't want, if you have certain issues, please just maybe just use Mod Podge or something or wear a mask. Don't be dumb like me. I'm not doing that. So yeah, um, other than this, we're, we're going to move on to the, we're going to move this side, so I'm going to back out of again. We're going to move on to the paint. Now, if you guys remember from when I made his neck piece, um, you need silver for this part, right here, in the center. Now, of course, we're going to add minor detail to this, minor. So we so we have this silver. Make sure you don't make. If you're a little kid doing this, if you're young, please wear a piece of clothing. You don't care if you get paint on because if this gets on clothing, it's not coming out. Now I learned that the hard way. <laughs> Trust me. Um, and then for the rim, right here, you'll want this yellow. I go curling to the costume. I'm probably going to dirty them up a little bit along the rim. I'll show you how we'll do that later on. Some of them I'm going to dirty. I'm going to dirty up the one so we can see how it's done. But yeah, so this is yellow med. This acrylic again. Wear a t-shirt. You don't care if you get paint on. Of course, I'm very careful. I'm going to have to do some things. So, yeah, make sure you're careful of this. And then for the minor detailing. So, what we know, I'm going to have lines going right through here and here. So, that's where the minor detail comes from. Going along also where I put the hot glue. If you guys watch our video, you'll guys know how I made this, how I morphed the mic. To look like that 
So then for the right tail, you want black. Now this will stand out. Now remember, again, acrylic does not come off clothing. <laughs> so please, please, work so you don't get hair paint gets on it. Please, do not wear anything fancy. I sure have just wear whatever. And then, so I'm gonna move this inside in here, make sure it's still be visible. If you guys want to turn. So we got these, right? And that's for this. Now, how we're going to put this on is using this, and I noticed this in the camera view, but if you have a palette, you can see I've used this many times before because of the paint on it. As you guys could see uh, seen in some of my old videos I've done making stuff. Get yourself a paint palette. It is a lifesaver. Because what you're going to use this for, you're not going to use this for the black you're just going to dip into the lid, depending how thin your brush is. Of course, if we're working on major projects, then yes. Of course, I'm probably going to put the black in here because I also have a second thing I'm doing today as well. And I have a lot of these to cover. I have like eight of these mics. And then, so... Along with that, you will want brushes. You're not painting this by hand. Literally not by hand, but get brushes. Something, this, this would be when I'm dirtying it up, I'm gonna use this one. And I'm gonna show you what I mean by dirtying it up in a bit. And then I have this one for the detailing. Now this, you're gonna want Thing, like a cup of water, which I want to get in a second when I actually start painting. But this is going to be used for the actual painting process. So yeah, that's pretty much it for now. So yeah, let's get started. got for mics so and that one last clip is what I, and I showed you how to dirty it up a little bit and to kind of get like make it look like it's been used and roughed up for so yeah this is the results um so yeah I'm gonna play down for a sec I hope you guys enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up and then, right 
Hit the subscribe button below. Make sure you press the bell next to make sure you go to thanks and get notified when I post our video. I'll see you guys next time.